the Zwift version 1.25, which was released today. It is the May 2022 update. So let's get this, let's get Zwift started up and take a look at what was added. Okay, so on computers, riders are, most riders now have the new home screen and you will see that Zwift actually rearranged some of the things. They got rid of um, the Pace Partners like having its own label, I guess. So now it's here next to events and upcoming events. And under that, you'll see workout anytime, then just ride. For the Pace Partners, Zwift announced that they're going to be getting rid of the Mercury Islands Pace Partners. So these will all go away because they were not too popular on Zwift. And Zwift is adding two more. I mean, sorry, three more. And here's some more details on those. Dorothy Duster, 1.15 watts per kg. Diego Duke, 1.8 watts per kg. And Danny Draft, who will ride at... 2.15 watts per kg. I, su I suspect that Danny Draft and Diego Duke will be pretty popular because there were a lot of requests for a 2.0 pace partner. So I suspect that that'll be a very popular choice among many Zwifters. Then here in the drop shop, a few things were added. Let's take a look at those. The Scott you Scott TT bike, the Scott Plasma RC Ultimate. Looks pretty cool. A lot of the TT bikes recently with the little compartment in the back. Looks very aerodynamic. And but it, and it's four stars aero, one stars weight. Same as all the other TT bikes. And I suspect that this will probably be one of the top performers. Okay, now onto the felt. The Felt IA 2.0 that was announced a few months ago, it's looking pretty cool and I think this might actually be the fastest TT bike as the previous Felt, the Felt IA, was the number one fastest TT bike for a while, tied with this um, Cervelo P5X before the Canyon came out. Okay, as usual, there were some new workouts of the weeks that were added. Let's just pull that real, pull that up real quick. Right now, only this one's available because they become available as the weeks go by. And that's pretty much it in game wise. So let's head over to the forums and see what the Zwift employees have um, noted for us. Okay, so four new workouts of the weeks. We already viewed those. Pedal assist will now be 60 seconds if no power is detected, and 10 seconds if power is detected. Um, you can also start a training plan any day of the week. So here you can see that if I pull up a training plan, back to fitness, you can enroll in it, and you can just start right as soon as you start the plan. Okay, let's cancel this. And then all, tr all workouts within training plan are available from the first day of the plan. This was a small issue for the people who just wanted to get right into training rather than having to wait a few days before starting the training plan. Okay, so Zwifters running older um, OS systems will start to see UI and um, for upcoming changes. These will occur in August and I have an article linked below with details on that and which devices you will not be able to run Swift on. Swift will be making some regular changes to the pace partners throughout the summer and something notable here the KQOM radio station is hosting a familiar voice for your listening pleasure. More on that coming soon.
and this bug was fixed, which prevented power-ups from the Zwift Racing League, which is pretty big. And the Pride Lifeguard Tower is now permanent. So here you can see that this life tower here, it's actually a real place in Long Beach. And now it has its own place in Zwift. That's pretty much it for this Swift update. And oh, one more thing that some riders were noting is that people were noting that there were some pens added at the top of Alpdi Swift and Ventop. So let's take a quick look at that real quick. Sort by elevation, get there a bit quicker. Then road to sky. Ride. Loading Watopia. And we're in. Okay, so let's just find a rider who is on the Alps right now. Just wait until this rider makes a turn. Okay. Okay, up the Alp we go. This is pretty inconvenient, but I wanted to show you all the new banners that, not banners, pens that were spotted at the top of Abdi Zwift. Okay, so here you can see on the mini map here that there are pens here, which leaves a lot of foreshadowing, maybe some possible downhill races on Zwift, and that could be pretty cool, like maybe a dash to see who can hit the highest max speed or get down the mountain the fastest, and I think this has quite a bit of potential, and it will add to the gamification of Zwift. It's definitely something that you wouldn't see in real life, which makes it very special to Zwift if Zwift were to add this. Once we know more about this, I'll be releasing another video about it. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see what comes out of it. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or useful, please leave a like, subscribe, and support the channel. Bye!